Tuesday, March the 28th. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, been out here at the farm for, I don't know, probably an hour and thought I'd give you a little update. It's been, I guess last time you saw the garden, we were planting peas and sweet corn. Had a few other little things since then. So let's just take a look around. We planted some more uh, onions. Now everybody thought we didn't have near enough onions. Like I said, I think that was probably right. And Dina pointed out that uh, our broccoli is starting to make tiny little heads. Hope the camera picks that up, fertilize some of that, and I guess we're gonna have to just give up on those few plants that the freeze got. See some potatoes over here. They're coming along good. I held out hope for a long time that uh, the centers would eventually come up. If you look down the row, you can see that on the camera, the very centers of the row down here, I thought maybe the plow had gotten too deep and we just put the potatoes too deep in the ground, they would eventually come up, but I'm beginning to think that they just didn't make it. Uh, there's a few, one or two kind of scattered out. There's one right there, but not very many, not very many at all. I'm gonna try to get these healed up this week, fertilize them really good. Uh, expect they'll start to jump then. We were expecting a big rain over the weekend and it didn't happen. We got less than a tenth of an inch. So where irrigation's running, we're in desperate need of a good rain. Soften this ground up some. Got some stakes laid off for some of our determinant tomatoes. Down here, we did transplant a few uh, better boys. For the most part, they look okay. A couple of them are, look like they didn't like the transplant very much. That happens a lot with tomatoes. Poked a hole in my irrigation line right there <clears throat> on accident with that stake and I put a little clip on it trying to stop it, but we're gonna have to make a more permanent repair there. Still have a row here that's open that's another row for tomatoes. Plan to put mostly Rutgers in there. Um, put cabbage in this row. Uh, and then probably peppers in this row. Sweet peppers and hot peppers. Have our squash transplants that are the ones that were, we had a few if you remember that were completely dead. Brought some more transplants in that we have grown from seed back at the shop. And I think that we had them, I think they got too wet. I think I actually drowned them. So I pulled the hills up a little further, put the other transplants in, they look to be, I haven't, have not watered them, but they look to be doing better. That's one of them right there. This row is squash we're planting from seed. Uh, the seed's coming up in most places. Give it by the end of the week. I think we'll have a pretty soon the deer start eating. Uh, tried to plant enough for the deer and for us. This row, we put uh, more onions in it. Again, we didn't think we had enough onions, so we, Mrs. Five O, bought some more and put them in. These are not candy onions. These are a variety of Georgia sweet onions. So hopefully they'll turn out good. Our uh, snap that um, the gaps that we see are, are beans that didn't make it or couldn't push through the ground or the freeze guy. So these four rows are just very spotty. We came through yesterday and uh, did a little cultivating, trying to loosen the ground up a little bit around the plants. Uh, we fertilized when we put the seed in the ground, but we have not fertilized since. Although we did cultivate, we didn't side dress. Did the same with the corn. See, this is uh, Silver King. Have a fairly decent stand of it. 
and it's at a time where it has to have some so there's more rain forecast for this week we're keeping our fingers crossed that we actually get it so we're moving to the incredible variety here of sweet corn it's lost that pale look that it had there's still a little moisture in the ground not much I think it's coming along. Um, I think that it runs out <clears throat> right here. We came in, I think you saw in the last video, and laid off uh, a bunch of rubber queen laid off there. going all the way to this point at this point we start uh, pink eye purple hull peas and these are top pick variety first time I planted those but we should have a gracious plenty of them I think you saw in the video before we did fertilize with triple 13 when we put these down in the planter so the fertilizers in the row just needs the moisture now Starting right here, we had a uh, Sunday afternoon late and put four more rows of uh, strike variety snap beans. I just don't feel like those down there are going to make it. They're going to produce anything. We still have uh, that area up ahead left to do something with. We're, we're thinking watermelons, cantaloupes. We need to hurry up and do it, though. Um, not entirely sure. It's another beautiful day in South Alabama. Hope you have a good day. We, uh, I know we are. We're going to have a good one at work. But, um, we'll come back probably end of the week, over the weekend, first of next week. Maybe, maybe we'll get some rain. We'll come back after this rain and give another little update. Look at that corn shining out there. It's awful spotty. If we make any, it's a blessing. Have a great day.